Hi everybody, Joseph from Wellness here. Today we're gonna be giving you guys our upper body bench workout. Um, all you'll ever, all you'll need today is a bottle of water and a bench or a desk. Something about yay high, but if it's a little bit higher, that's okay. Everything we're covering today is gonna be upper body and it's a timed exercise. If you need longer break periods that I'm giving you, go ahead and take it. So the first exercise is going to be a uh, feet, is feet taps or it's a warm up. So you can do feet taps or you can substitute it for jumping jacks, but I'll give you all modifications in this workout. So we're gonna do five sets for 30 seconds with only 15 second breaks. So I'm gonna start with the feet taps and I'm gonna show you the, the faster version and then I'll slow it down for you. So you're gonna go for 30 seconds, all right? So here I go. Make sure that you're standing upright, you're not leaning over your knees and you're being very light on your feet. And if this doesn't work for you, slow it down, all right? All, the whole point is to move your body, getting your body and your mind in sync with what you're about to do. And then 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, all right? So we're gonna take a 15 second rest. If those two exercises don't work for you, I would, I would advise you to do some jumping jacks. That also helps me kind of get into the mood of things. And in five, four, Three, two, one, and here I go, 30 seconds. Make sure you're breathing in through your nose, out through your mouth, I'm trying to control your breathing. Don't land too hard. Remember, this is your warm up. This is your time to go ahead and get in sync with your body and figure out how you're gonna do this workout efficiently and effectively in five, four, three, two, one. And that's our second set in our warm up. We're doing five sets. So I'm gonna give you one more in 15 seconds, all right? The 15 seconds are for you to re relax and rest and get ready for the next set. If you need more time, go ahead and take it. And it's five, four, three, two, one. And we're going back to the feet taps. Again, you can alternate between the three exercises I showed you, or you can just do all five sets just like this. Again, making sure you're tapping lightly. You don't want to stomp down on the bench. You just want to touch. And if you're using a desk, go ahead. You don't have to put your feet on top of the bench. Just touch your toe to the bench or the desk. Five, four, three, two, one. 15 second rest. Make sure when you're doing the exercise, you're also moving your arms. Your arms staying in sync with your body helps you, like I said, get in, in tune with what you're about to do. One more set in five, four, three, two, one. And like I said, we're gonna move along with this workout, but I want you to ideally do five sets, 30 seconds with a 15 second rest. Moving those arms. You want opposite arm, opposite knee. So if my left knee is coming up, my right hand is coming up and vice versa. Left, right, left, right. 10, nine, eight, Seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. All right, take your break. Make sure you got a good glass of water close by. We're gonna take a 30 second rest and we're gonna start on our next workout. So, the next workout is gonna involve our core and our arms. All right, and what that's gonna be is it's called bench shoulder taps. So you'll place your hands on the bench, shoulder width apart. Make sure your shoulders are lined up with your wrist. Your butt and hips are level with your head. Don't be pulling back on your heels like this. You wanna be directly over your hands. If you need to open your legs up wider, that's okay too. Remember, the closer you have your feet, the more challenging. And what we're gonna do is take our right hand, touch our left shoulder, and alternate. All that for 30 seconds. You wanna keep your core tight. You almost wanna imagine you have your nice glass or bottle of water sitting on your lower back right here. And you don't wanna spill it. And you, the, more, the tighter you keep your core, the more you're gonna feel your abs engage. I like to squeeze my glutes too, making sure I'm getting all of that involved. Again, we're kinda of just gradually moving into this workout. And 10, nine, eight, Seven, six, five, four, three, two, 
one. Now we're gonna do two more sets with only a 10 second break. This isn't that hard, all right? I don't expect you to be sprinting through this like in the warm up. I expect you to kind of go slow and nice and easy and you should be able to get your heart rate back down. And here we go for the second set. Again, shoulders right over our hands. Core is engaged. Glutes are level with our head, not up here in the air. And we're gonna go ahead and take our right hand, touch our left shoulder and alternate for 30 seconds. Keeping your core tight. All right, keep it moving. Try to breathe, focus on your core. I like to squeeze my triceps every time I put my hands down. Make sure I'm getting my shoulders and my arms engaged. And in 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. And we're gonna move on to our third set in 10 seconds, all right? Again, anytime you need water, go ahead and get it. Don't hesitate. Don't wait till you're thirsty. Remember, all we have is 10 seconds, so that barely gives us enough time to drink water and then get right after it again. All right, this is an interval workout, guys. So it's gonna help you burn a lot of calories, all right? It's gonna bring that heart rate up, all right? Try to, try to have integrity when you're doing this workout, all right? Don't just take longer breaks than you need to, all right? You're supposed to be tired. Challenge yourself, all right? And in 15 seconds, we're gonna move on to our, la our, our third workout. 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Great job, all right? So the next workout we're gonna do is bench mountain climbers, all right? So that last workout was working out our shoulders and our core. We're still gonna do that, but we're gonna work out our lower abdominals in this next workout. So the bench mountain climbers goes like this, all right? Put your hands down just like before. You should have that plank position down from the last workout, right? So instead of just moving our hands, we're gonna drive our knees in, and this is gonna go for 25 seconds, all right? Now you can go slow and engage your core, but I'd rather you go kind of, not super fast, but like a jogging pace, keeping your core tight. Again, almost pretending you have that bottle of water laying on your lower back, and you wanna keep it steady while you bounce around, all right? You don't wanna be up in the air. You wanna stay stiff and keep that core nice and tight. And in 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. And we're gonna take a 15 second break. We're doing three sets of that, all right? So again, barely enough time to drink water or get a little stretch, but again, don't just sit around on your break. Don't sit down, you wanna, you wanna stay a little active, keep your heart rate up. And that's gonna give us, that's gonna cue our second set. Here we go, 25 seconds. Keep it moving again, keeping the core tight. All right, it's almost like controlled chaos here. All right, keeping the shoulders lined up with the wrists. Keeping that head straight. Don't tuck your chin down into your chest. Keep it all together. Keep your mind focused, core engaged. 15 seconds, and we're gonna move on to the third set. And now your heart rate should be kind of jumping. If it's not by now, you need to pick up that intensity. Five, four, three, two, one. Third set coming up in 15 seconds. So I like to take this time to make sure I'm standing up tall, make sure I'm taking deep breaths because that third set's gonna hit me hard. So here I go in five, four, three, two, one, making sure my shoulders are lined up with my wrist, hips are level with my head, and here I go. 25 seconds, driving the knees in, keeping the core tight, not bouncing around at the hips, keep driving. go control that breathing I'm already getting breathless it's hard to talk my heart rate is high but that's the point the point is to challenge yourself if you do the same thing every day you never get better in 10 9 8 7 6 5 4 3 2 1 all right great good job all right so we're gonna take a little bit longer of a rest on this one and now we're moving into push-ups all right want to work on our arm strength a little bit more all right so the push-ups are gonna be 12 to 15 reps. If you're feeling good, you're ready to go, do 15, do 20 if you want to. I'd suggest, because the breaks are so short, manage it a little bit, okay? So I'm gonna do 12 reps with a 15 second rest in between, okay, for three sets. Here I go. So again, I'm starting in that plank position. You don't want your shoulders and your wrists right up under each other. You kinda of wanna widen it out a little bit. Almost line up your thumbs with your shoulders, all right? Your head is gonna be straight. Your hips or your butt are level with your head. 
and you just come down until your elbows are about 90 degrees and push up. So that's one, two, keeping the core engaged the whole time. I like to squeeze my glutes while I do this and then come down slow and explode. It's always easy. If you throw yourself down, you want to go down slow and controlled, keeping the core tight. Don't let the butt drop below the head or be too high. All right. Imagine you're pushing your whole body up. All right. And we got four more, four, three, two, one. Again, not long breaks, only 15 seconds. Barely enough time to drink water. And if you need water, again, make sure you're drinking that water. Don't wait until you're thirsty. Drink it up. And here we go. In five, four, three, two, and one. And we're moving for 12, 11, 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Remember earlier I said, make sure you, your breaks count. All right, we want you to rest. You don't want you to, we don't want you to be tired for the third set. But a lot of times my shoulders get tight. So I like to use my breaks, stretch a little bit, move around, make sure my arms are loose. And that's gonna cue my third set. Here we go. One, two, make sure you're exploding out of that push-up. The goal is to get stronger in the arms. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, and 12. All right, so we're gonna, again, we're gonna rest up for 30 seconds in between these exercises. Now we're moving on to what's called elbow to hands. All right, I call it ticky tack, call it whatever you, you want, but basically, you're gonna go ahead and get in the low plank position, like this. Almost the same as the high plank, but you're on your elbows. Again, glutes and hips level with your head. All right, not up here and not down here. Nice and level. You'll feel your abs engage you there. What you're gonna do is, you're gonna take one of your arms, plant it down right where your elbow was, and lift yourself up into the high plank, and then drop down for 30 seconds, all right? Make sure you're alternating. You don't wanna do the same arm over and over. Now, I don't care if you do the right arm for 15 seconds and the left arm, as long as you're doing both arms evenly, all right? And don't be in such a rush. You don't have to do this fast, all right? Nice and slow. Remember, exercise is easier when you do it faster. Doing it slow, you're engaging more muscles and you can concentrate a little bit more. All right, so we got about 10 more seconds till we move on to the second set. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Relax for 20 seconds and we're gonna go into the second set. Again, I like to stretch my triceps on that one. That one really gets my shoulders and my triceps and just try to focus on relaxing, making sure that that second set is efficient. Here I go. That's gonna cue number two. Remember, start with your elbows down. Get that plank down, make sure your core is engaged, and here we go. Again, I like to, I like to pretend I'm balancing something on my back, all right? Just to keep my core and abs as steady as possible. All right, so although you're moving and there'd be no way you could hold a bottle on your lower back, you still wanna imagine you are so that you can really, really dig deep into those abdominal muscles, all right? And I like to squeeze my glutes like I said before. And that's gonna be 10 more seconds. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. All right, third set coming up in 20 seconds. I gotta drink some water. We're almost there, guys. Keep it up. And you don't have to do these times. You wanna challenge yourself. So if you wanna do less time or less rest or more rest, do what you have to do. Just make sure that you are challenging yourself. Here we go. Third set. Elbows down. Hips level with my head. Core is engaged. And here I go. 30 seconds. And if you want to hold a little longer on those planks, you can do that too. You hold there for a second and then right back up. As long as you're doing this for a duration of 30 seconds or whatever you choose. And you'll start feeling those shoulders really getting tired after this. Remember, 
the lower the obstacle, the bench or the desk, the harder this is gonna be. The higher, the easier it'll be. So, you know, pick something. Some of you guys working at a desk, make sure it's not too high or else you won't feel this. Or if it's high enough or low enough, just use it. In 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. And we're gonna take a 30 second break because we're moving on to our last workout. All right, again guys, make sure you move those shoulders around. They do get tight. Drink some water. Make sure you've got a fan on you if you're inside or you're in the shade. Right now, it's about 92 degrees out here and uh, I'm in the shade because I don't think I'd last in this workout. All right, so last workout is a bench dip, all right? So what that's gonna be working out is your shoulders and your triceps and probably a little bit of the lower pecs depending on how you do this. You're gonna put your hands on the edge of the bench. If you pan around here so you can see where my hands are, they're not like this, guys. That's impossible to do a dip like that. Point your fingers straight out towards your feet, all right? Put, your, put them about shoulder width apart. The wider you have them, the harder that's gonna be, all right? You wanna start e e easy and even, all right? So what you're gonna do is walk your butt just off of the bench. The further out you have your legs, the harder that's gonna be. So depending on your fitness level, you know, put your legs in just about right here. Keep your chest up, and again, you wanna engage that core. Make sure you're uh, keeping the stomach kinda tight and sucked in not pushed out and relaxed, all right? And what I'm gonna do is, I'm gonna drive my butt straight down, nice and slow, and push up and lock out my elbows. So you'll feel that tricep muscle kind of burn out. And what we're doing is, we're gonna do 10 to 12 sets with a 15 to 20 second rest, all right? That's gonna burn it out. And what I want you guys to do is, when you're doing it, I don't want you to just drop down. I want you to go nice and slow on the negative, controlling it, making sure your shoulders have to stabilize through that workout. Two, three, and I'm gonna do 10, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, and you take your break, okay? Now I really start to burn in here, so I like to stretch that. You don't know, just loosen up. I have really tight shoulders, so I need to do a little extra stretching. Remember, you get 15 to 20 seconds, but you take longer if you need to, all right? That's gonna give me just enough time to stretch my other arm and have to move into the second round of this. All right, here I go, and I'm doing 10 more. Drop the butt just off of the bench. Bring your feet out. I'm gonna bring them out a little bit further to challenge myself, and here I go, controlling the negative. One, two, keep that chin up. Don't tuck it down into your chest. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, and relaxing, getting ready for the last set. All right, last set's the best set. So I'm gonna up it and I'm gonna do 12 reps this time. You can do 20 if you have to, all right? Make sure that you're not feeling any pain, all right? If you're feeling any pain, maybe you wanna go back and uh, rewind the video just so you can see what, uh, what it is you're doing wrong, okay? Again, fingers pointed straight out towards your feet, elbows kicked back, all right? Bring your feet out as far as you want to. I'm gonna put them out here straight and here I go. 12, 11, 10, keeping the core tight, chin up. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. And that's it, guys. Make sure you do a nice stretch and a cool down, all right? I like to cool down with a walk slash jog, but make sure you stretch after that. Thank you. Have a great day. Enjoy.